quick check on the cucumbers. Quick check. Hold on, y'all. I'm taking this one. It's big. I am also taking this one. Oh, I'm going to take that one too. This one right here. Y'all, I'm so proud of the cucumbers I'm getting this year. Like, y'all have no clue. Last year I got cucumbers nowhere near this many. Okay. And homegirl still trying to come up this way. Trying to help her. She don't want to listen. Let's see, I got three. That strawberry plant getting bigger, y'all. She's starting to get big leaves. Just kale. Some ate up my kale. I got some more kale I can try. Oh, look at this one. Baby. <laughs> this is fat. Oh, this is a fat one. Okay, looks like I only got about four. It's one down there. I hate when they grow that low. Thought I got them all from down there. Oh, this one will be ready soon. Let me see. Let's snatch this leaf off. And this one up here. I'm not gentle because these vines are established. So I'm not worried about them falling off. This one will be ready soon too. I can't believe how fat this cucumber is. So let me show y'all what I did. I came out and I put some more kale over here. Because as you can see caterpillars and grasshoppers been eating on those so i guess i'm gonna just keep planting new ones until they get established enough over here i pulled down that corn because it was just looking so bad to me i don't know maybe i should have left it not really sure but the corn was like half grown it wasn't even all the way up um since it's been raining i'm not going to be out here today but Eventually, I am going to pull down these sunflowers and plant some new ones. Um, one thing I learned is that this corn and these sunflowers will grow as long as it's warm outside. So, still have no flowers in this flower bed. I'm going to put some food in here because I'm sick of it being bald and ugly like this. Blueberry bush still don't have blueberries, but we're getting there. So, everything got a good water because I did water last night. You know, this cucumber is <laughs> leaking. But yeah, I'm going to pull them down. I'm going to harvest some seeds and see if what I could do with them. That's pretty much those sunflowers that was in there. I transplanted them over there. So that's why you don't see them in there. I'm going to put something else over in there. The trees are still doing great. The lemons are doing marvelous. They're getting bigger. They're starting to turn a little yellow, I think. Shockingly, I only got three on there now because that little one right there turned yellow, so it's going to fall off. Penny! Penny up to no good again. These tomato plants are doing good. I am eventually, I'm going to let these get a little taller and I'm going to put one over there. Something came and broke off the other plant over here. So when this one grows and it gets bigger, I'm going to just take one of the stems off and propagate it over here. Oh, wait, I may not need to. I may not need to. Oh, man. Okay, we got some growth. Something tore up my jalapeno. Could have been a rain. 
but it's okay. Sit on that one still over there. I didn't do anything, but y'all know we still got this jalapeno and these two right here that I can always put over there. So look how big this cucumber is in comparison to these. That's a big cucumber. Well, it's fat. Like, this don't do no justice of how wide this is. Look at my hand. Anyway, yeah, that's my cucumbers. Let me take them inside. Get them all washed up. Look at Penny. I need one of those aprons that, um has a little pouch like the little kangaroo pouch i'm gonna invest in one because i need one but yeah this is the garden hopefully i get some kale i'm really upset my kale not doing good i really want to start making some smoothies or eating like fresh salads and stuff or even putting it on sandwiches so i need to get that going but that's it we lost about three fish this morning <laughs> So that tells me I need to start um, buying more. This one has a whole bunch of little specks in it. I'm not sure if those are mosquitoes or if those are new babies, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. I don't want to get my phone too close because I am very clumsy. Let me see if I can just... I don't know if y'all can see all those little specks and stuff. They look like they got little tails on them. So I'm thinking they're baby fish. I'm thinking they're babies. Some of them are moving and some of them are not. So they might be babies. If they are, that is good. This one. Y'all can see some fish over here. They eat mosquito larvae, so I don't have to feed them every day. These are mosquito fish. They feed off the mosquito larvae, and because it's sitting in water, mosquitoes like to lay their eggs in water. And so I put some fish over here after those goldfish and the other fish in here died. I don't know where they at. I don't know if they jumped out or what. But, yeah. All right. Enough of that. That sunflower <laughs> fell over. And my rhubarb plant is still growing. Some ate the other leaf off the other stem as usual. But not tripping. One day I'm going to get out here and do something to this yard. But nothing. Okay. Nothing. Not Nothing yet. So. See you guys around later. Oh, look, let me show y'all these. So this is the kale. This is the kale that I have growing up here on the front porch. They're all standing up. They're doing pretty good. I'm happy about that. My banana plant, she looked beat up, y'all, but oh man, I dropped my cucumber. She looked beat up, but I promise y'all she is healthy. She's doing great. Her babies are producing stems and they're getting pretty tall. So, and she got brand new leaves. So I'm not worried about them browns. And no, I'm not gonna cut them off. And this is my croton plant. She's doing awesome. And so is my homemade lemon tree that I started growing inside. Awesome, awesome. Okay, catch you later. Bye.